Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So it's long been thought that testosterone shortens men's lives. Studies on neutered animals and Korean eunuchs seems to confirm this also. However, a new study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine draws these findings into question. In this latest study, led by a team from the University of Western Australia, the researchers combined the results of 11 high quality studies, this is then called a meta-analysis, investigating the effects of testosterone on men's lifespan. The studies followed the men for at least five years and found the participants with the lowest levels were far more likely to die. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. Death in this study was from any cause, but digging deeper into the analysis revealed that this is mostly due to heart disease. And this is still the leading cause of death in men all over the globe. What is interesting is that the same process underlying heart disease might also contribute to erectile dysfunction. That's the ability to get and keep an erection that's firm enough for sex. Erectile dysfunction often occurs much earlier than the symptoms of heart disease and can act as an early warning sign of existing or even future heart problems. Testosterone is known to have a large effect on erectile dysfunction, again, linking the levels of this hormone to heart disease. Testosterone levels typically decline as men age, dropping by about 1% per year from the age of 30. This is sometimes referred to as the male menopause or andropause. This decrease over time is partly due to the slow waning of the ability of the testicles to produce testosterone and a reduction in the signals that tell them that they need to do it. However, other factors can also accelerate this decline, including chronic diseases. But is low testosterone causing disease or is a disease causing low testosterone? A limitation of this new study is that it was unable to figure out if low testosterone directly causes an increased risk of death. Testosterone is lowered by illness, so it could be a marker for underlying disease that results in an increased chance of dying. This is especially true for diseases that have long-term inflammation, and one of these is obesity. Helping unravel this relationship is the situation found in prostate cancer patients. When the cancer spreads, the patient is given drugs that drastically lowers testosterone levels. Despite improving prostate cancer, this treatment increases the risk of heart attack and stroke in these patients. So while low testosterone may be a marker of disease, to some extent, it's clearly also a contributing factor in the development of future diseases and possibly death. Figuring out though what low testosterone is, is actually quite complicated. Measuring testosterone on its own might not give the full picture as to what is the right level. What's low for one man may not necessarily be low for another. Researchers use average levels of testosterone from lots of people from lots of different populations to establish what they think is a normal range. This then helps identify those people who fall outside of this reference range. This then helps doctors to identify and treat the patients who may need help. However, making these generalizations across populations is tricky and often requires larger effects to show meaningful trends. This new meta-analysis proposes that the increased risk of death in men is apparently mostly when testosterone levels are very, very low. What's important is that regardless of the levels defining what's considered normal for any individual, lowered levels for that person seem to increase their risk of dying. Given these risks, you may wonder if there is anything that we can do to prevent them. Firstly, men should certainly try to avoid things that reduce testosterone by adopting a healthy lifestyle and avoid putting on extra weight. But when levels are low, treatment to replace this missing testosterone could be a viable option for some men. There's growing evidence that testosterone replacement therapy, TRT, may help reduce some of these risks, including death from any cause and heart attack in some men. That said, debate still exists as long-standing and now largely outdated concerns regarding TRT causing heart attacks still remains. While most evidence now says there's at least no risk of heart disease associated with TRT, more research is certainly needed to determine if it can improve heart health 
in men. While there may be hope on the horizon in the form of TRT for reducing the risk of men dying from heart attacks, it looks as though this is going to be a long road until treatment becomes a more common option. In the meantime, it wouldn't be a bad idea to, like me, get your testosterone or your T levels checked regularly. As a 60-year-old, my normal range should be between 300 and 350. And on my last test, I was at 619. Now, regardless of age, anything below 300 nanograms per deciliter is classed as having low T. If you've had your levels checked recently, that's great. If you haven't and you're pushing 50 or you're over 50, it's something you should seriously consider getting done. Also, I know it's a sensitive subject, but if you're having TRT and you're seeing benefits, could you please let us know what they are in the comment section below?